Hey everyone, this is Wes from the Console Gaming Crew and we couldn't be happier to announce that we are now part of the Boss Rush Podcast Network and are featured on BossRushGames.com. BossRushGames.com is a great place where you can find up-to-date news articles, blogs, and podcasts about video games. In addition to that, there is a growing collection of podcasts in not just the gaming community, but other communities as well. We are honored to be a part of such a great network of podcasters, so please stop by and give everyone a listen. Thank you. And enjoy the show. Yo, crew members, what it be? Hey, oh, you good? I think Hi. he said a hernia. He did. did. Hi, I everybody. Did. How are you? I did. <laughs> Daddy's Daddy's home. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we got uh we got Anthony back. We decided to change the schedule up a little bit so that way we could have uh yeah, I mean the three musketeers running squad deep. I just figured it was a better it was look, this is like a trial run, but I've I figured out of anything, if this works and we have a fun, enjoyable time doing it. I mean, if you think about it though, it gives us it gives us the days with our families too. That and is it true. Gives, and it gives us the nights for the boys, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Yeah. it's a trial run, we'll see how it works. Yeah. Touche. Man, but uh, what do we got on tap today, Big Dog? Yeah, so um, we are going to go ahead and break so Wes, down. So Wes thinks he's Big Dog. I just I just opened it up and said Big Dog and Wes took well, it. Well, I mean, I am the one that normally fucking with you, goes into these episodes. So <laughs> it's okay. I mean, just, but I mean, just, I know what just, we're talking about too. Just, just pick up your ego, keep talking. I mean, since Daddy's home, he can go ahead. And <laughs> I mean, we're we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing the uh, the awards. You know, the 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 nomination for the 2020 awards. 21. Yeah. 20, 20, 20, I was like, oh my god, I wasn't here for 2020. Was we're going back to those. We're going back. You were no, you were here. I was here for the last. For the last yeah, you were. Do it. Whatever. Anyway, we're gonna have some news, <laughs> <laughs> and then probably a little bit of what are we playing? See, nice, simple, out the mouth. Nice, West, simple, continue to the point. <laughs> All right, so the game awards are going to air on December 9th um, from the you Microsoft so Theater right in now. Los Angeles. Yeah. Hmm. So you sound so sweet right now. Oh, do I? Yeah. Sitting over there looking like a snack in his black t shirt. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, I, I, I have Damn. no answer. I got nothing yeah, you won't say. either. <laughs> I'm about to make this real awkward. <laughs> oh, no, no. It's, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, y'all want to talk, talk. So. Yeah, it's about to make fun. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Mm. Go ahead. Mm. <clears throat> oh, see, I can add it if you want. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Please, You're no. gonna get Andy to like just drop out of the call. <laughs> My computer broke. I don't know. It stopped working. I don't know. It wasn't a thing. It just died. He's like, Hello, stop with the stuff. Lady. Yeah, guys, come on. Oh don't no, make, we're not. Don't make me bring him back. Yeah, Anthony yeah, missed no, that no one. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. What? I already made it, man. Creepy. I don't know for whatever reason. I went all the way back to WWF and Val Venus when we kicked off the one podcast the one time, and he said, "What up, crew members? How be?" And I went, "Hello, ladies." And then we went on. <laughs> We went on like a seven minute diatribe about fucking wrestling. It was from back in the day, yeah. Oh my god. Maybe All we right. should start off the uh, nominations. Let's yeah, so it. um yeah, so the first one we're gonna talk about is best sports racing game. So you have F one twenty twenty one, FIFA twenty twenty two, Hot Wheels Unleashed, Forza Horizon five, and Riders Republic. I have so, so in the <laughs> land so in the land of what game does have has no shot, we'll uh, we'll add uh, what was it, Hot Wheels? Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels. Least, yeah. Good luck. It's cute that you got in there. but I mean, it's actually pretty cool that they got in there. Have you seen any of the gameplay of that? Yeah, they, they, they look fun, but it's like, Insane. It's, like it's never going to win an award for the Elena, for best racing Elena game. Elena played the game on the app, you know what I mean, on her tablet. Right, I remember you I remember you bringing that up when I when she first played it. Yeah. The gameplay on the systems, though, is fucking crazy. Well, I it bet it really is. really cool. Uh, but I have an issue with this because best sports slash racing game, just separate them, dude. Like I agree. Then you're gonna piss off. Then you're gonna piss off the auto racers that count. Th- that like no, they, no, no. They're, they're Stop. Racing as a sport. Stop. That's not a thing either. I get it. It's a sport. But like, fuck off, okay? Like, here's my thing, right? You but have if you're racing F1. somebody else, then that yeah, means it's like, a racing. Dude, the way actually, it just gives you the opportunity to give another award. Exactly. Best so and best yeah. Racing. Done. See, done. So we all agree. All right. So I was yeah. right. <laughs> Now we all know that FIFA 2022 is probably going to win it, but is going to win it. Look, man, I I'm gonna put it off uh, Horizon Five because that game is just amazing. I've been having a blast playing it. Anthony, yeah, we were talking about it before we got the mics on. Yes, hundred percent. I absolutely, I it's been a while since I've been in love with like a racing game, and I have fallen in love with this racing game. I yeah. love it. 
hundred percent. Shit, I love it so much. I actually spent the forty four dollars on the fucking the uh, the VIP pass for the car pack and the fucking DLC. Oh, did you? Bro, I figured the game is free on Game Pass. Yeah. I was going to buy the game anyway. I spent $44. Yeah, the money to it, yes. The micro purchase, which I fucking, we had that conversation. But anyway, but yeah, I spent the $44 on it, so fuck it. I mean, why not? Okay. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Andy, what do you think is, who do you think is going to win? Dog. Come on. All it's right. that Feffa. <laughs> that Feffa. <laughs> All right, so the next category is Best Sim Strategy Game. You have Age of Empires 4, Evil Genius 2 World Domination, Humankind, Inscription, and Microsoft Flight Simulator. That right what, was there. The first, what was the first one? You said Age of Age Empires? Age of Empires 4. I feel like I got to go with Age of Empires. You think so? Yeah, dude, they got such a fan base. Like, yeah, they've been doing a lot. of fan base. I'm going I'm to go, with, I'm gonna go with the Flight Simulator. That'd be a nice switch up. That's what I I'm mean, saying. I'm that's gonna what go I'm gonna go simulator. with. Once again, I mean, I mean, that's probably that, that's the only one I played out of these games. I mean, since it is on Game Pass, it's actually a lot of fun. I mean, I, I agree. I agree with Andy w- with like the 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 following of the Age of Empire, but I've really I haven't um, played it. So this I is going to be say this, whether or not it deserves it. But this is, go- this is gonna be my upset. I'm gonna go with the flight simulator here. That's gonna be my upset. I swear <laughs> to God, you better play the fucking Dark Powerball Horse. if that John wins. You better that, play the Powerball. If, if that John wins, we're playing together. So then, at least if I or one of us yeah. win, we all fucking win. Yeah, we all win. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Age of Empires. There's there's just certain brand names almost. It's like when you see Final Fantasy in a category. It's like, yeah, no, yeah, no. I agree. 100 percent agree. It's like 2008 when like Taylor Swift was up for any award. It's like just give it to her. Yeah, <laughs> here. Let's just Ex- expect just Kanye to, to follow and say something yeah. weird. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, just give it to her. <laughs> All right, so the next one, next category is best family game. You have It Takes Two, Mario Party Superstars, New Pokemon Snap, Super Mario 3D World, and Bowser's Fury, and WarioWare Get It Together. Damn, that's tough, man. That's a that really is a stacked that's a, fucking. That's a stacked. Yeah. So here's category. the thing. Here's the thing, because Mario Party has always been a staple in like every family home. If you if you have ever played any Nintendo game. Or any like you have any yeah. Nintendo console, it's always going to be a Mario Party game. Yeah. However, however, us being in our thirties, having grown up, played Mario Party and the Pokemon Snap games, and the new Pokemon Snap being out, I really think that's what has the potential to win. Okay. Is that, is that even really though, cool? even though, even though it takes two is actually a phenomenal game. This is the one I actually talked to you about, Andy. Uh, yeah. Remember when? Yeah. <clears throat> so remember when we were looking for, uh, like you, know, you and I always downloaded Wes. Yes. Okay. That's the one I brought up to you way back when that I said was coming out when we were looking for like two player games, uh-huh. and I told you to keep an eye out for this oh, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Because yeah, because Wes and I downloaded that because we were looking for something for us two to play when you couldn't be on. Yep. Like when we were doing the ascent and shit like that. So absolutely. We were like, All right, we'll we'll jump into that. But we, we never got to jump into it yet. But from what we saw, it looks so good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so, that's that's what I was going to say. But for nostalgia purposes, you're either going to see Mario Party or Pokemon Snap. That's that's just what I think. I think it's going to be It Takes Two. I hope you're right. That'd be cool. I'm actually going to go with that, too. Ooh. Yeah, I am. Go. I am. All right, so the next one is Best Fighting Game. Ooh. You have Demon Slayer. The... Hinakami uh, Chronicles, Guilty Gear Strive, Melty Blood, Type Lumina, Nickelodeon All Star Brawl, <laughs> and Virtua Fighter Five Ultimate Showdown. Okay, oh, God, oh, do I hope it's Nickelodeon's All Star Brawl? That would be I dope. So. But that would be but, legit. Okay, is is there anybody else that finds this extremely interesting? Because they always release new characters. The, does Smash Brothers or Smash Bros. Does that still count for best fighting game? Can since they continuously release new players, or I don't that, think so. That, okay, I don't. I just I wanted. Don't know. I would consider yeah, I that more of a DLC. Okay. Than okay. a than you mean than a new game because in that case that it'd be a new game almost every two or three months. Right, and so I wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't sure. That's why I brought up the question. I wasn't aware of how that yeah. worked, and yeah. I just wanted to kind of like be a little bit more well informed for myself. That's all. Yeah. Oh my um, god! If if that were the case and that could be counted, that shit would probably win every year. Oh, and that's <laughs> that was kind of like my logic behind it. I was like, 
anyway, I wasn't sure. That's why I asked the question. Now, as much as I would love for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl to win, I honestly think it's going to be Guilty Gear Strive. I'm not going to pick anything because I honestly have no idea. I would like to see Nickelodeon win as well. I'm going to go Demon Slayer, but I'm okay. hoping for Nickelodeon. Obviously, I'm hoping for Nickelodeon. All right, then I'm going to go Nickelodeon. <laughs> All right, I'm the lone horse there. All right, so here we go. For the most anticipated game, we have Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, the sequel to Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and Starfield. Mm. Oh my god. That's another, that is, that's another shut, that's a category. fucking that's a banger of a list. That but I already know loaded. where I know I have played two of the prequels to the games that have just been listed and I will say God of War is where I am is where my allegiance lies. It's not with Horizon. Believe it or not. I for some reason I absolutely fell in love with the the Horizon Zero Dawn. <clears throat> I even bought the fucking crazy hundred dollar bougie ass fucking <laughs> you know what I mean with the character and everything and but when I played God of War when I was deployed, I literally fell in love with the story. I fell in love with the characters. I connected for some odd reason I connected with the way that the game was written, the music that was behind it. Like I legit got like sad further into the game knowing that it was gonna be over soon. And I have never been like that with a game, like ever. Yeah. Uh so for me, I'm really, really most anticipated for me is God of War. Hands down. Hands down. That's Andy. the game I, I need that. So I think it's going to I I want it to be Starfield, but I have a feeling just putting my scientist hat on here for a second. I would imagine it's going to be Horizon or um, or God of War, just because if we're talking about highly anticipated game, both games that preceded those were, were bangers, and everyone knows that. So, of course, everyone's going to look forward to the next game. As much as I want it to be Starfield, that is Bethesda, right? Yes. Yes. Because that's what they've been working on since they've been pushing off Elder Scrolls Six. so people are already a little bit wonky because of how the whole fallout 76 thing went so i'm thinking maybe there's people that are like oh, i'm gonna pump the brakes i'm being super excited about another bethesda game till it comes out so that may hinder that. it hinder that happening uh now what was the other one outside of oh elden and, ring. And, and, and well, elden ring elden ring's uh, elden ring's another good one too so i'm gonna go with that's tough you know hey. i'm actually gonna go i'm actually gonna go with I'm gonna go with Elden Ring. Um, mm. I don't think Breath of, as much as I would love for it to. I don't think Breath of the Wild is is gonna land as much because I don't think so either. Yeah, just because for like the hardcore Zelda fans, they weren't really thrilled with Breath of the Wild. It was a good game. It was it was a great game if you're just looking at it at face value. But like comparing it to all the ones that came before it, didn't really land. So I can't imagine the next one people are like super gung ho about it. So I'm gonna go Elden Ring. Uh, okay. But it wouldn't, uh, sh- it wouldn't shock me if it was if it was uh, God of War or Horizon because both games that came before it were fantastic. So people are anticipating fantastic in the next one. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go with Horizon just because I think that I think that um just having that strong badass female protagonist is something that you mean a lot of people are looking forward to. Um, yeah. Starfield, I feel like I've, I've I've been feeling for a while they're kind of biting a little more than they could chew. You know what I mean? With that, I just I just don't feel like I mean the current technology is going to be able to keep up with what with what they want to do because their character drawings all look the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? How how the people look is all the same going from Skyrim to Fallout to fucking you know you know what I mean? like, how many awards those games win though. Yeah, but and when they're right and like when those games are right, they're right. Yeah, but yeah, but they they you know I mean they don't win them for graphics, they win them for story. Right, uh, you're true. right. They they win. Yeah, you know what I mean, they, they don't win them for graphics. This is true. But says the game is never going to win for, for graphics. No, but no, when it comes so to when it co- right, but when it comes to game of the year, when it comes to story driven, um, when it comes to story driven, their only competition is Bioware. Yeah, like whatever Bioware has out that day, because that's usually what ends up edging out a Bethesda. Like that's what we always talk about. Like how many times have we said this that like if we could get a Bethesda game. With the storytelling from Bioware, yeah, no, nah, I got you. Ninety nine, keep your butthole tight. That's the greatest game ever. 
<laughs> yeah, but I'm yeah, so I'll so I'm gonna run with Horizon. Oh, okay. I'm cool. All with right, that. So the next one we're gonna talk about is the best RPG, best yeah, role playing game. Stop. This one Anthony is going to be very upset about. You might hear a computer break. <laughs> <laughs> and that's le- that's Anthony on the chat. And yeah. that came right All from gone. Cyberpunk headquarters. Oh, yes. I'm going to fucking kill you because you just said it. Yeah, Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> you have Monster Hunter Rise, Scarlet Nexus, Shin Megami Tensai V, and Tales of Arise. Damn. All right, can we just pump? We- let's let's pump the brakes here for like fucking 10 seconds, all right? Because like Cyberpunk 2077, whether they fixed it or not, shouldn't be a thing currently on the best RPG list. Let's just let's just get that across. I am fucking furious about this right now. And I'm drinking a little bit, which makes me even more furious. <laughs> Look, <laughs> let's be realistic. My man's all filled with trash <laughs> juice, so he's super angry. <laughs> Su- super trash, trash juice. <laughs> oh, no, he's he's 100% correct that I can get he's, behind exactly man, what he said. In fact, man, I love what he just said. My, my man is drinking like a can of Eugenia. Close that goddamn door. He's not wrong. <laughs> I got a fucking like mullet and a beautiful mustache that's fucking just wait. Anyway, uh, sidetracked. Uh, so look, let's be realistic. This this game should not be on here. Come on, I yeah. can't be the only one that just sees this and just like gets a little inner chuckle and then pure rage because oh, like I laugh at it, but then I completely just dude. I I don't even look at that when I'm looking at the category, man. Yeah. You know okay. What I mean? Thank fuck. <laughs> it just shouldn't be there. I'm sorry. Yeah. Either way, I'm going. Uh, I'm going Monster Hunter Rise. Okay. I keep yeah. hearing really good things about that. Yeah, and I was going to agree with you on the on the whole Monster Hunter thing. Yeah, I think it's either going to be Monster Hunter Rise or it's going to be Scarlet Nexus. Scarlet Nexus, you know, what I mean, had a great showing as well. Yep, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, I mean, that game's the game's on Game Pass right now too, and I know I know a bunch of people that have played it that really enjoyed it. All right, so we are going to talk about the best action adventure game. You have Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Metroid Dread, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, Resident Evil Village, and Psychonauts 2. This is for best action? Uh, action best adventure. action adventure, yeah. Action has it action alone has its own category. Uh yes, yes it does. So real quick, and I you know what I'm I don't know why I haven't been doing this. Um yeah. we should have started this from the beginning, and this is my fault. But um we should probably give the people a little bit of, of a synopsis of like what each category actually stands for and why it's called action and adventure. <laughs> why is that? So for the best action adventure game, it, it combines combat with traversal and puzzle solving. That's what gives okay. you the category of best action and slash adventure game. Okay. All right. That makes sense for what's there. Yeah. Should probably have started that from the beginning. Maybe we'll start that now. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go first on this one. I'm gonna. Th- I think the um, Resident Evil is gonna take it. I hope so. But I'm I wouldn't be surprised if Psycho not takes it though. I'm gonna. I was gonna go. I'm going with Dread. I'm going with Dread. And I'm gonna go with Marvel. I'm gonna go with Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay. We were you just talking about some, that. You should have had someone writing this down so we know what uh, all our picks are and see. Dude, I have a. I have a Google Doc set up. I'm. I'm going to oh, when I replay yeah. this. I'm going to type everything out. This is the Google Doctor. No, I just <laughs> try thinking ahead. Who's your best friend? It's Google. Google's my best friend. He answers every question I got. It's, it's Wes, the Google Doctor. What you going to do? Nothing. Damn right. So now we're going to talk about the best action game. Uh, action stands for uh, focus primarily in combat. <laughs> It's exactly what it says. Primarily. I'm not gonna fucking like draw it out. That's just exactly. Uh, that's literally right. what it stands for. Oh shit! Yeah. Let's, All right. So for the best action game, we have Back for Blood, Chivalry Two, Death Loop, Far Cry Six, that's and one. Returnal. If we're talking primarily combat, um, I'd have to say Death Loop or Returnal. I get it. They're both they're both the same style of game. If you think about it, it's a continuous loop, yeah. and you you well, have to yeah, learn. Yeah, it's that rogue like. Right, you have to learn yeah. from your previous combat of how to progress through the story. So my, if we're thinking primarily combat, Death Loop or Returnal, I'm probably I'm going to say Death Loop though for sure. I'm uh, I'm going Back for Blood. I think Back for Blood's going to get it. 
um because i know it's action heavy far cry 6 it's surprising to me that that's actually i don't in even that know why that would be, because like even be in it's there. like there's definitely action in it but it's far more driven by like story and searching things out and right so could we like just drop know. cyberpunk 2077 and put far cry in there because like that that should be there like that should that should be like a move like that should be like the thing to do yeah, I would expect well, Far Cry to be. Well, in the I don't RPG know. Well, I don't. I don't. I don't even necessarily. It doesn't bother me that it's not in. Does it RPG, not have RPG but how, elements? It it does, but if they're going by standard like role playing game, like they're not, they don't have anything in there that's that's just a game with RPG elements. It surprised me that it's not an action adventure because is that not what Far Cry is? Action based. The only thing it doesn't have is puzzles. I was about to say. Uh, well, they well they yeah, know, there's man, no puzzles. It's the puzzles that you need yeah. in order to be part of that category. Uh, real quick, so RPG is basically designing with rich uh, player character customization progression, including massive multiplayer experiences. Mm. Okay. So there you go. Fair enough. Yeah, including that massive multiplayer. That's I mean that's kind of yeah. where best you action is just a, best action is just a strange place for Far Cry Six to be because like yeah, yeah the action no. is good and everything, but it's not like the primary focus really. Yeah, no, the primary focus of every Far Cry game, except for like the first two, is the story. It's always been the story. It's always been the progression of the player and the story and the yeah. little bit of the RPG elements that it does have. All right, so yeah. um, Andy said Back for Blood. Anthony said Death Loop. I'm yeah. actually going to. I'm. I'm actually also going to say Death Loop. Yeah. Um, even though I, I, I would be happy to see Returnal get it. To be honest, I'll tell you what, they put a hell of a, enough of a push on Death Loop. It should win this damn award. We got well, Death shoved down our Dude, throats they, for like yeah, Lord knows how long. Yeah, well, there's that. Did. Yeah, well, Deathloop's actually on a lot of cat- categories here, including Game of the Year, okay. but we'll get to that. That is true. Yeah. All right, so the best... Yeah. All right, so the next one is best AR VR game. So augmented reality, virtual reality. I got to get to that really quick because my list is not the same as yours. It's split up in different fucking segments. It's best VR AR game. So the best VR AR experience playable in virtual or augmented reality introspective of platform. Okay. That's there fair. <laughs> That stands for. All right, so the games are Hitman 3, I Expect You to Die 2, The Spy and the Liar, Lone Echo 2, Resident Evil 4 VR, and Sniper Elite VR. I'm going to say Resident Evil 4 because I actually played that. I played that at Andy's house. I only played it for like a half an hour, but had I played the entire fucking thing, I would have pooped myself a couple times, had to change my underwear. But great game. You played Resident Evil 4 in VR? Isn't that... No, no, seven. You no, know, you played seven. Four is they what remade is four? four. Four was the one with Leon in that, oh, that came out on the, on the game. No way, that's a thing. They yeah, they brought Resident that Evil out four. VR. Yep. Yeah. No, I didn't play that at your house. See that? I I, 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 I would have played that at your house though. Yeah, you sure would have. <laughs> that was the first one that I beat. And that's well, actually you wouldn't have been able to play at my house because that's actually not on PSVR. I think that's just Oculus, right? Right now? Uh, might be. I would have to look. I that think up. it's just Oculus at this point. Uh, well, I that's keep. Gonna I keep thinking. I keep. Every time I saw it, I kept thinking of how fucking how that not cool on that would be. I'm sure it'll end up there. Well, because Facebook owns everything, and they said no. He's an alien. <laughs> but um, oh, yeah, shit. I'm I'm shit. I'm definitely going they with Resident Skype? Evil 4. I don't think so. Uh, no, that's owned by Google, I think. All right, we're good. Thanks, Google. Dr. Google over here. <laughs> Doctor, whatever. Anyway, anyway, I could be Resident wrong. Evil 4. <laughs> Resident Evil 4 is my selection. Andy? Hold on. He didn't even give us the finger. Now, hold on. I may need to go help something for a second at some point. Um, what was I going to say? So, yeah, I'm going to go with Resident Evil 4, but Sniper Elite's probably pretty cool, too, in VR. That's probably pretty dope. But I'm going to go, go Resident Evil 4. Like, that's got to be ridiculous in VR. Dope. All right, so the next one we're going to talk about is Best Debut Indie Game. So in this category, um, well, I got to wait for Anthony to pull up. No, I got it, I got it. Uh, created by a new indie, in, sorry, a new independent studio. That's it. All right. So we have Kenna Bridges Yep, Spirits, that one right there. That one right there. Sable. That's my choice. The Artful Escape, The Forgotten City, and Valheim. Now, in the beginning of the year, like around like summertime, Valheim had quite a push. Yes, you know what I mean. You know, a, a lot of PC players were um, you know, were messing with that. But um, Kenna was one of those games that you know what I mean. Like ev- every single person that I've seen play it has absolutely loved it. Hundred mm-hmm. percent loved it. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, I will. I'll also say Kenna. I mean, Ken is what I'm pulling for. I've been excited for Ken since I saw it for the first time. Then go with your gut. But yeah, I'm going to go Kenna. Yes. Nice. Yes. All right. So now we are going to go to best community support. Oh, there you go. Uh, recognizing a game for outstanding community support, transparency, and responsiveness, inclusive or uh, sorry, inclusive of social media activity and game updates and patches. Okay. Listening to people. There's a lot in that. All right. Yeah. So we have Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14, Fortnite, and No Man's Sky. I'm going to go because No Man's Sky. I, I want them to win because of the overhaul they did on their game. But what did I just say? Like, I don't care what the category is. If, you find if it's Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy in a category, in just yeah. take it. <laughs> no, I know what <laughs> but, you mean. But <clears throat> this one is different though, because I don't know what their community outreach is like or like what their response i don't either and here's the thing with apex legends and fortnite alone you're you think about it they're both what they're both esports games right yeah so there you go no and man's I mean, sky fortnite, is not an esports game fortnite yeah. was really quick to go ahead and like shut shit down with um with the travis scott stuff you yeah. know what i mean to go ahead and give me take his emotes and shit out so um i mean look i would like to see no man's sky uh take I, yeah. it just just because of the overhaul they did but and he's most likely right with the Final Fantasy. I'm going to say Fortnite. It's not a bad pick. Yeah. Moving right along. Moving right along. All right, let's go to Best Independent Game. So Best Indie Game. Okay, so it stands for out, uh, Outstanding Creativity and Technical Achievement in Game Made Outside the Traditional Publisher System. So there you go, All Indie right. Game. So the Best Indie Game, the nominees are Death's Door, Kenna, Bridge of Spirits, Inscription, Loop Hero, and Twelve Minutes. I'll take the, I'll take the start on this one. I think I think you're going to see Kenna, Bridge of Spirits win indie outright. I think you're going to see him win for best indie game, and I think you're going to see him best that's indie best indie debut. debut. Yep, I think you're going to see him win outright. Okay. Because usually nine times out of ten, this is just what I've seen in the past. When you see a game in multiple categories, whether it be like Let's just you will use indie game for instance. If you see like the Kenna and you see it in both best indie and debut, you're probably going to see him win both. It's just me. I've seen I that happen that. sometimes. I hear you on that. Yeah. So and I hope they um, do. It'd be dope. So I've seen people play Death Store. I've seen Kenna and I've seen Twelve Minutes. I haven't seen Inscription or Loop Hero. Um, Twelve Minutes is just fucking wild, dude. That game is so neat, and you have, I mean, you, you have, uh, Willem Dafoe, you mean, you, uh, lends his voice to it, stuff like that. I mean, it's just such a neat game. Death's Door is really cool, but, um, nah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna rock with the Kenna train just because of just how gorgeous that game has been. Kenna. Oh, all right. Kenna. Kenna. Dope. There we go. The next one is Games for Impact. Ah, Games for Impact. Uh, Thought... For a thought-provoking game with a pro-social meaning or message. Ah, okay. Now, some of these I see on here make, make a lot more sense now with that. Mm -hmm. All right, so you have Before Your Eyes, Boyfriend Dungeon, Chicory, A Colorful Tale, Life is Strange, True Colors, and No Longer Home. God, I hope Life is Strange, True Colors. Same. Yeah, me too. I I hope so too. Uh, I have never I haven't even heard of the other games. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've never even heard of the other Boy, games. Boyfriend Dungeon is on Game Pass, I think. Still don't still There's haven't like a couple times I passed and went, Don't think I want to do that to myself. But <laughs> this is one of those ones that jumps off the page like Boyfriend Dungeon. What the fuck? How did we get here? Go from Banjo kazooie to Boyfriend Dun Dungeon. That's a fucking hell of a hop. Yeah. Uh yeah, so it looks like it's gonna be life is strange all around. Yeah. All right. Next one we're going to talk about is innovation in accessibility. Ooh, we looked this one up last year too. This is the only one that we looked oh. up last year because we were like recognizing yeah. software and or hardware that is pushing the medium forward by adding features, technology, and content to help games be played and enjoyed by an even wider audience. That that right there is an amazing category. That's yeah, it. like you have like you got to feel awesome <clears throat> if you win that. Yeah, like that's win better. Or, like I'm that's better than winning. Forward. Yeah, that's better than fucking game of the year. Like fuck off. I just won for that. <laughs> yeah, 
Eat a dick. Maybe a bag of them here. All right, so the nominees for innovation and accessibility are Far Cry 6, Horizon, Forza Horizon 5, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, and The Veil, Shadow of the Crown. You know what would be cool that they didn't do that kind of sucks is that we don't exactly know what the innovation is in those games that they're up for in this category. Like, what mm. put them in this category? Mm. Like, I think of Far Cry 6, and it's like, wh- what exactly did you do? Like, I know it's a great game, but it looked like any other Far Cry. Like, what did you do? Like, what are you doing exactly in that game to push, you know, push things forward or you yeah. know, innovate and stuff like that? That may sound like I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm like, no, like, actually I'm curious. So, like, um, Guardians of the Galaxy, I know with that game's particular gameplay, because of the choices you're able to make, I mean, it's a very, um, I mean, it kind of has, like, a Mass Effect type of feel because, like, you can do something with Rocket and he can be angry or the rest of the team can be angry at you because of that choice. And that will that will impact things later on down the line. OK, so I see that. Um, well, if that's the only one we know, then I'm going with Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, Ratchet and Clank, I'm guessing adding in the female protagonist, you know, what I mean, in the game, I mean, that would be the only thing that would make sense to me. And and I mean and that would be the same thing with Far Cry. You know what I mean? Having the female protagonist. Yeah, that's I true. Think is, that a, the, is, that a, uh, is that the first female in in Far Cry? Yes, that's actually pretty cool. Well, yeah. the first female I, protagonist. I think, a, and as silly as this may sound, but I think the innovation for Forza is the fact that anybody can pick it up, whether they have played the games previously or not. It, no there's no like that. So. For, but what I'm saying is like so Forza Forza itself is is the simplicity behind the game, the controls and and learning how to play the game is so easy that anybody can literally pick it up and play it. Okay. I, I, hence yeah, why I hence why it's if you look at the, if you look in the description hence why you can it can be enjoyed by a wider audience. So if I was to put Sophia in front and be like these are the three controls you have to use play it. She'd probably be able to figure out at some point That's within like an hour yeah, or two. It's it's funny that you say that because <clears throat> one of the casts that I don't believe you were here for, um, I was talking to Wes about me playing um the latest UFC game that was on Game Pass. I think it's UFC yeah. four, the newest one. Yeah. And the one thing that I loved about it the most was anybody could play it, which was not how it used to be with the other MMA games. Like if you didn't know what a position was on the ground, like you'd be out of your element there. But they added a mode now to where um Instead of like, remember, because you play the games too. Yeah. Before. So remember, but, but you know, you wrestled, you watched MMA too. So like, you knew what the positions were. So remember when you were on the ground, each directional pad, uh, each direction would be a different. Um, yes. Um, what should we call it? Like a transition. Well, now, yep. so they still have that, but they have a mode that literally just one way says submit, the other says advance, and one says get up. So if you just pick submit, it'll take you to whatever the closest submission is you can get from there. That's if you cool. choose stand up, it works you to stand so, up and transition. So it's so anyone can just be like, I know what those mean. I may not know what you know. So you know, if someone's on the ground and and they don't have that, you just see you know, side control, north south, you know, half guard. You might not know what that means. But right, to just right, right, see, right. but to just see you know, submit, stand up, stuff like that. It made it yeah, it's easier dope. for people that don't. Yeah. So like. Hmm. Uh, so it would have been cool if that was in this category, but I don't I'm, gonna go, that's, I'm going with Guardians just because of what you said. Yeah, I, I as much as I have fallen in love with the 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 Horizon Five Forza, I'm going to stick with the uh, Marvel as well. Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to run with Marvel as well. Damn, look at that. We like five for five on picking the same thing here, boys. Interesting. I don't know, right. man. If we if we start winning like a lot of these, <laughs> we we definitely playing the lot. We definitely playing Powerball. Nothing fuck. wrong with that. Let's go. Nah, fuck Let's it. fucking go. All right. Now, next category we're going to talk about is best audio design. Oh, yeah. we. I just ran across this. Fuck. It's like the bottom. I mean, this one's slightly self-explanatory. But only slightly. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard. Have you ever heard someone describe something like that? It's slightly self-explanatory. Recognize them. <laughs> so you're only you're only kind of an idiot if you can't figure it out. Yeah. So basically, uh, you're recognizing the best in-game audio and sound design. Holy fuck, dude! Oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. You know what? I'm just gonna keep talking <laughs> since. So the categories, uh, uh, best audio design. The games that we have up here are Death Loop, uh, Forza Horizon Five, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, Resident Evil Village, and Returnal. 
I want to say Returnal. I'm incredibly biased because I played Resident Evil and the sound is fantastic. So I'm just <laughs> going to go with that just because I haven't played the other ones. I'm going to go because cool uh, I'd like for Forza to win something. So I'm actually going to go with Forza here because of the because of the soundtracks that they have in the game. And there's like 750. No. No, I the think there's 700 sounds of the cars. Yeah, I think there's 758 cars. So each individual sound that they make is different. And so I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Forza. On top and of the fact inc- you can change the radio and everything else like that. So there's that, and it doesn't include the fact that when the DLCs come out, they're going to have more cars that go with the DLCs. So you're looking at anywhere between what I just said to like 1,200 cars. Yeah, I'm gonna go with, oh, I'm, gonna fuck. go with For- I'm gonna go with Forza. I'm gonna stick. With, I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick with my haunches here. Go. I'm a Forza hit. Yeah, Forza Straight dog. Banana land. Yeah. The, right, oh, so the, that doesn't include. Hold on, that doesn't include no, the sounds. Ahead. That doesn't include the sounds for when you open, because you can open and close the door uh, while you're parked at your house. You can open and close the door, get in, start the car, rev the engine, turn the wiper blades on. I'm that doesn't you, include. I'm glad you specified that, by the way, because I was about to be like, why the fuck would I want to open my door when I'm just going like 150 miles an hour? <laughs> no, 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 no. Because no. like, rip there's my like fucking this, door there's, off. So like, if you're picking like a car that you would like to drive before you actually drive it away, you can actually like walk around the car. You can open the doors. Uh, I, I used the new Ford Bronco really quick. You could take the top off of the Ford Bronco and look at it. I mean, it's 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 really, Sick. yeah, it's it's quite in depth. Um, go ahead, Wes. What's next? <laughs> All right. So the next one we have is best score in music. Ah, uh, it's for outstanding it's music, inclusive of score, original song, and or licensed soundtrack. Okay. Yeah, well, we know Chell ain't gonna be on there. <laughs> mm-mm, mm-mm, not even a little bit. Oh, you mean our six song soundtrack's not gonna win us nothing? <laughs> Into which we still get hit with fucking DCMAs or DMCAs, whatever the fuck they're called. We stream the Dickmas. Yeah. So <laughs> the nominees are Cyberpunk 2077. Fuck off, you cock. Death the only Blue. sound that game has is the sound of the game breaking. Why is this in here? Yeah, and that's the se- that's the second you opened the fucking video game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if yeah. you had the hard copy, <laughs> and the second your system turns on, and it yells at you for playing Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, your system literally goes fuck no, not happening. Like it, it tells you that it's breaking. All right, so we have, <laughs> so we have Cyberpunk Death Loop. Near replicant version one two two four seven four four eight seven one three nine. I think they get it. There's a lot of numbers. I mean, I'm reading <laughs> what's here. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy and the Artful Escape. I have to go just because of how incredibly, incredibly, fantastically amazing the fucking soundtracks are in both Guardians of the Galaxy movies. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that the music in the game is fantastic. So I'm gonna go with Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, I'm actually gonna go near replicant. Um, and that's near, where I was fucking torn between that the and, near games and Marvel. Have, yes, they have such beautiful operatic music with. with I'm gonna go with you, Wes. Like amazing. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm gonna go with West on this one because that's where I was torn. It was between near or Marvel, and I, I'm fuck it. I'm going with you, Wes. Hundred percent. I'll die on this island alone. That that's fine. <laughs> we'll we'll leave you there to die alone. We'll see Hell of an island. island. It's just me and Wilson. Such a good island. <laughs> The next category is Best Art Direction. All right. Now, it stands for Outstanding Creativity and or Technical Achievement in Artistic Design and Animation. Ghost okay. of Tsushima. <laughs> it's not on there. I know. I know. But, but I agree. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Ghost of Tsushima won this last year. Let's just add it in anyway. They did. I'm, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm, I'm going to add it in. Uh, but the games that we have for this are, it, this is kind of like an ongoing thing. So, Deathloop. Right, we talked about it. it's going to be in a lot of categories. Uh, Kenna, Bridge of Spirits, Psychonauts 2, uh, Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, and The Artful Escape. Psychonauts 2 would be cool to win that. Where did that... the British just fucking decide to come out of your throat? Psychonauts. For? Like, did I? Psych- Psych- Psychonauts. Psychonauts 2 it's, would it be would amazing. Be, it would be incredible if Psychonauts 2 uh, won this award. So, here's the thing. I'm right there with you. I, I honestly see Kenna or Psychonauts getting this. Um, that being said, I think, like I said before, I think you're going to see Kenna take the whole indie aspect of things. I'm actually going to go with Psychonauts 2 here. Yeah, still- 
because our, we our have style wise, it, oh my it god, takes, it takes you. It takes you back to those old, like those old, like Jet Grind Radio, bro. Like those you could old have school, never like, done drugs looking. a day in your life, and it takes you on a drug infused <laughs> story. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this is true. It's true. You be like, oh my god, I feel like I'm on shrooms, and I've never done them. <laughs> yeah. Now, as much as I do agree with you about, like, I mean, the the way they they moved, you know, what I mean, with that game, I actually think it's going to be Death Loop. I think Death Loop's going to win more categories than we're giving them credit for don't but remember uh, yeah actually true because there's really nothing like death loop was the big 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 game that came out this year so like last year when we did this we had last of us part two and ghost of tsushima so we yes. knew yeah. unless they were in a category together <laughs> if either one was in it alone you're just going with that one and we yeah. weren't we weren't wrong last of us each one won whatever category they were in. But that's what's so exciting about this year is like there's a lot of really like interesting really and good, or good games. Yeah, there's a lot of good games. So it's not like it's not like you had like the two bangers that you knew were like almost a shoe in to win that category. I mean it's cool. Yeah. Like shit, yeah. for all we know, Ratchet and Clank could win this, even though I'm just talking out of my asshole right now. But any game, it seems like so far, any game has the potential to win it. We're just kind of, I feel like we're choosing what we actually think is going to win, which is kind of what we're doing. Well, it's I mean, yeah. Episode. It's the point mean, of this episode. I mean, I get it. Wes, what do we got next? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next one. was the most incredible Joker laugh I have ever heard. <laughs> that, was, that was fantastic. I just want you to know that. When you play that back, you're going to be impressed with it yourself. I might keep it and just loop it. You should. <laughs> All right, so the next one we have is best ongoing game. Can't find it on my list. All right, so it's definitely on here. I just got. I mean, my assumption it. would be best ongoing game. Give me a game that has, you know, I mean, longevity with like the constant updates and the DLCs and being able to. There like, we go. Awarded to, no to the what. game for outstanding development of ongoing content and evolves, uh, that evolves the player experience over time. So yes, you are one hundred percent correct, Wes. Your your synopsis of the games for best ongoing game is correct. Yes, way to go. All right. So the, thank you. The nominees are Apex Legends, Call of Duty Warzone. Final Fantasy fourteen, Genshin Impact, and Fortnite. Call of Duty. I'm sorry, say that, say that one more time. I, I, I totally fucking blacked out for a second there. Yeah, because he doesn't have the fucking list in front of him. You <laughs> fuck cock weasel. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> Apex Legends, Call of Duty Warzone, Final Fantasy fourteen, Genshin Impact, and Fortnite. I mean, Jesus Christ, pick your poison. Like, we're all dying before every single one of those games. So, yeah, um, that is true. hundred <laughs> like, percent true. So, I'm, I'm going to go Fortnite. That motherfucker just don't die. So, I'm going to go Fortnite. So, yeah. here's the crazy thing, right? And, I, and I've been looking at this list, and I'm also thinking about what they have to offer mobile as well, because I see a lot of people playing these games mobile. So you have Genshin Impact, Fortnite. Genshin Impact is definitely a mobile game. Yeah, so Genshin Imp well, they have it on systems too, I think. It Yeah, no, they do, um, but I mean, but, but I'm saying, I mean, it's also mobile. So Genshin Impact, Fortnite, and Call of Duty, all three of those, I know for a fact, are all mobile, as well as console. Um, I don't know about Apex Legends or Final Fantasy. Um, I'm still sticking with Call of Duty. I'm gonna stick Call of Duty on this one. It's been around. It's been around the longest out of the ones on this list. Not Warzone. So, no, but the name itself, Call of Duty. Okay, the name of the name itself. Yeah, but I was about to say when it comes down to Warzone, dude, Apex and Fortnite have they, been around longer. They run, yes, dude, absolutely. They run circles around. Hundred percent agree with you. But the name Call of Duty itself has its own following. And and that I mean, alone, the, having them I mean, having technically the, the one that's been around the longest, I would think would be Final Fantasy. That name. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm going to go with Call of Duty. You're not wrong. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not disagreeing with you at all. You are correct. But I, 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 think I'm, I think I'm going to run with Apex on that. Cool. I have, I, dude, I have no real investment on this one because I don't touch any of them. Any so, of them? Yeah. Me you know what I mean? So I'm just, I'm just going to go with one and just see what happens. <laughs> All right, so the next category that we have is best multiplayer. All right, so 
<clears throat> that's for outstanding online multiplayer gameplay and design, including co-op and massively multiplayer experiences, irrespective of game genre and or platform. Okay. Nice. So there, there you go. So the nominees for this category are Back for Blood, Knockout City, It Takes Two, Monster Hunter Rise, New World, and Valheim. It takes two. Here's where I'm going. Is it really? Yeah. I'm gonna actually go, go for I'm gonna go with Back for Blood. Not a bad pick. And I'm actually gonna go for Monster M- Monster Monster Hunter Ma- Rise. What are you going with? Monster Hunter. Hunter. Monster. 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 It's gotta be Monster. 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 All right, so the next uh, category we have is Best Performance. Yeah. Ooh. Wes and I talked about this one off mic for a little bit. This is this is cool. This is awarded to an individual for voiceover, acting, motion, and or performance capture. Gee, I wonder who's in this. And I do apologize if I get any of these names wrong. So you have Erica Mori, who played Alex Chen in Life is Strange True Colors. Uh, Giancarlo Esposito who played Anton Castile, Castile in Far Cry 6. You have Jason Kelly, who played Colt Vaughn in Deathloop. Maggie Robertson, who was Alcina Dimitrescu in Resident Evil Village. Is Alcina, is that Lady uh, Dimitrescu? Yes. Okay. And then Azioma Akaga. Yeah. Azioma Akaga, which who played Juliana Blake in Deathloop. Wes, you already know who I picked earlier. I'm yeah. going to go with Esposito. Far Cry 6, 100%. Hands down. That's my guy. That's the dude doing it. Doing big things. Winning things. I'm going with, I'm going with that, too. Yeah. I'm going with that, too. I want to see Erica Mori win. I want to see Life is Strange pick that up. Because I, I feel like they... I, I feel like... Because, you mean, those games are narrative driven you know what i mean like dude you mean everything's about you know what i mean just just the story so well I mean, and she dude she has a lot that she has to say in this game well absolutely 100 percent. i can see that because if you think about it if it's just like the previous game any any choice that you make there's multiple different outcomes yeah do you know what i'm saying so and each outcome is going to have a different uh a different dialogue so 100 percent gonna see where you're coming from with that still going with esposito because the dude's just a boss I mean, trust me. I mean, we, 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 <laughs> yo, we talked about it. Esposito is the most intimidating person I've ever seen on TV. Oh, my God. 100%, dude. Like, you look at that dude, you're like, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I got no beef with you. Like, what? No. Here, take my wallet. Just take it all. Take, take all, all, take, take take all of my money. Here's my bank account. Yep. No, we're good. Yep. Social security I, card. Just house? Take- yeah, it's yours. Cars? I don't have any. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how that conversation would go. Absolutely. <laughs> uh... We have three more categories left. So we have best narrative. Uh, that is that is for outstanding storytelling and narrative development in a game. All right. So we have Deathloop, It Takes Two, Life is Strange, True Colors, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, and Psychonauts 2. I know where I'm going with this because I played the first one. I'm going to go with Life is Strange. Okay. Best narrative, like I said, you know what I mean? Like, it is literally what those games are known for. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know I mean, they're known for the story. They're known for everything about the story. So I'm going Life is Strange as well. Yeah. We don't make it. A... I'm going to go with Life is Strange as well. Oh, the Three Musketeers do it again, boys. Clean yeah. sweep. <laughs> yeah. That one, that one kind of seems like a slam dunk, though. I, I mean. agree. I agree. Dude, something I've learned about myself with like um, watching like my friends stream games and stuff like that, yeah, I yeah. I love love watching people play narrative based games like FMV games and stuff like that. They're, they're I easy fucking to watch, dude. love it, dude. It is they're just fun to watch. You know how many times Andy has hit me up? He's like, "Hey, I got nothing to do. You want to play a video game?" Yes, I do. Cool. I'm gonna watch. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Sounds good. It's like watching a movie, except for you get to watch your friend play the movie. That yeah. is true. Yeah, that's pretty dope. All right, second to last, we have Best Game Direction. Uh, this is awarded for Outstanding Creativity, Vision, and Innovation in Game Direction and Design. So with this one, we have Deathloop, It Takes Two, 
Returnal, Psychonauts 2, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I haven't shown enough love to Ratchet and Clank through this thing. I'm going to give it to Ratchet and Clank. I think for the next, because I know what the last category is that you're going to bring up. Mm-hmm. and I, My my answer is going to be the same for both. Um, so I'll give it to you when we do the next category. All right. So I'm going to go Returnal on this one. Ah, Content Creator of the Year. Now, I thought this was pretty cool. Wes, Wes and I passed it up. But it did, after I read the synopsis of what it stood for, we kind of both agreed that we should at least hit it really quick because it is pretty cool. Yeah. A content creator of the year stands for a streamer or content creator who has made an important and or positive impact on the community, the gaming community, in 2021. Um, so here's the list really quick. It's a... Uh, now, I'm not going to pick any of these because I honestly don't know who any of them are, and I wish them the best of luck, but I'll read the names Absolutely. for you really quick. Uh, so it's Dream, uh, Fusili. Now, if I say these wrong, obviously, correct me, please, because, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know. I'm looking at it the same way, so. Uh, Gauls, Gauls, G-A-U-L-E-S, Gauls. I think it's Gauls. Gauls. We're going to go with Gauls. Uh, Iba, and the, the, the Grefig. Yeah, the graphic. That was like the easiest one to say, the graphic. <laughs> well, um, good luck. But anyway, that. yep, best of luck to every single one of you. Uh, thank you for making a difference in the gaming community. That is very awesome of you. Absolutely. Um, hopefully, hopefully one day we'll be on the list of making a difference for the gaming community. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah, that'd be pretty dope. Um, I'm just gonna one. keep. I'm just, yeah. I'm just gonna keep talking, Wes. Do it. Um, so the last one we have, and I know we saved it for last for a reason. It is the game of the year, uh, which is recognizing a game that delivers the absolute best experience across all creativity and technical fields. Uh, the games that are in this category are Death Loop, It Takes Two, uh, Metroid Dread, Psychonauts Two, Ratchet and Clank uh, Rift Apart, and Resident Evil Village. Now I'm going to start because. I did not give you an answer for the last one, and it's going to be the same for Game of the Year and Best Game Direction. And my choice is actually going to be Deathloop for these two. That's, I, just, that's just what I see. I don't agree with you on Game Direction, but I do agree with you on Game of the Year. <laughs> I, I also enough. think it's going to be Deathloop. Yeah. Andy? Um, just, I'm again, I can't, I can't come back to you, so you mean this biased. is the last one. No, 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 I'm saying I'm biased. So. <laughs> I'm going to go Resident Evil Village. Okay. All right. Resident Evil Village. Now, but again, I'm acknowledging that I'm biased, super biased there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we were aware. Now, again, the Game Awards are going to be airing December 9th. Um, they're going to be live from the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles. You can vote for them right now. Vote for whoever you want to win. Best of luck to the game developers. Best of luck to the content creators. Everybody who's a part of all this stuff. Fun fact, I will be voting for everyone that I chose, so at least I know that my vote potentially made a difference. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome, though. All right. We gave you the Game Awards. Now it is time for news. I think we need, like, a typewriter, like a... It, yeah, dude, it, it, it feels very <laughs> pressing and steep with that. You know what I mean? Hearing that typewriter in the background where they do like uh, like music news. <laughs> All right, so I'll start us off with one that Anthony rolled his eyes at. And I, I, I kind of feel at? the same What way. did I scoff at? So we are looking at a new Earthworm Gym TV ah, series. Yeah, that is you in know the what? Works. Eh. <laughs> It's going to be either amazing or it's going to be complete Stupid. fucking dog shit. Did you're like say an Earthworm Jim TV series? He yes. did. Now, see, this is the issue. Now, hold on. Don't get all fucking excited and fucking Mr. Nostalgia Happy Man. Knock it the fuck off. That's no, the don't issue. don't my Nostalgia Happy Man. No, I am. Because here's the thing. They're doing this on purpose to reach out to us fucking 30 plus somethings. Fuck off. Stop doing this. Stop twisting. Stop twisting my nipples in a fashion that I do not enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you got so specific on that. I did. I, I am did. so he's glad so you got specific. He's so specific to let you know that there is a nipple direction that he does enjoy. It's it's uh, left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down, A, B. So the Konami code on his nipples. Got it. Mm-hmm. 
If you hit that, you're fucking getting. I don't even want to know what selector start is. So, man, don't, don't. <laughs> we can we can have that off the conversation. <laughs> hit that ABAB on them nips, and this man's letting streamers go. Uh, <laughs> so, we um we got to see this earthworm Jim tongue in cheek um behind the music like interview. You I mean was the teasy trailer they had a little two minute thing. The series is going to be called Earthworm Jim Beyond the Groovy. Um. So, reportedly follows Earthworm Jim's adventures, fighting evil from planet to planet throughout the galaxy, with each planet featuring a different race of anthropomorphic animal-like aliens. There you go. Earthworm Jim's Jim's ultimate goal is to get back to his home planet, which is Earth. Yeah. Um, Shocker. (laughs) Sorry. I look, man. I have no real thought process on this. You know what I mean? It's if it's cool, let's run with it. You know what I mean? Or is it going to be an adaptation of the fucking the fucking Hollywood getting their hands on a on a great video game uh, name and just fucking tearing it to shit? Dude, you want to talk about a games, a fucking game they should bring back? I mean, like revamp a side scroller. 2D Earthworm Jim game, you know, yeah. you do just just straight up Metroidvania. Just don't don't give me a fucking show. Give me a new game. Thank you. Goodbye. Be like, able to use him like a whip and just fucking just <laughs> give me be able to go just across shit like yeah with the gun, dude. Yeah, dude. Like bring the crows back. All of it, man. Just give me the stuff. Just give me the stuff. Come on. Um, I got an itch. Just give me the stuff. Sorry. What else you got, Wes? What, what else? <laughs> what, what other news we got? <laughs> Um, I found this one real interesting. So Sega has decided that they want to bring Alien Isolation to mobile. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool too. Yeah, that's the same. That's the same like face that I gave before you hopped on. West brought that up, and I was like, "Wait, what? You shut your fucking mouth! You say that again, please, because I want to hear it." There's no way that I don't f around with that like embedded. Oh my. Okay, what? That's just awkward. (laughs) What are you doing on your phone? Um, effing around with some aliens in bed is so good. Got that xenomorph. Oh, so oh, good. Oh, yeah. Uh, leaking from the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, xenomorph, your mouth is so moist. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hit me with your all pokey that, tail. All that, all, that KY, all that KY jelly. He said that pokey tail. Oh, shit. All right, so Sega has announced that it is bringing alien isolation to mobile devices without compromise as part of a package that will include the base game and each of the seven additional DLCs. Damn, that's dope. What's the price tag? Uh, so the publisher has confirmed that the Survivor Horror game will be launching on iOS and Android devices. Fans of the franchise will be able to pick up the game, which is said to have been fully adapted to touchscreen devices. And the game starts, the game price is fourteen ninety nine. That's, that's not, not bad at all. Bad. That's no fucking... for a full game and seven DLC packs. Yeah, that's pretty I didn't even fucking realize dope. That there were seven DLCs. I mean, and never played the full game. It looks sure. like all of this. <laughs> yeah, I missed something. I played one of them. <laughs> it looks like all of this is dropping December sixteenth. That's a uh, that's a hell of a time to drop too, especially around the holiday season. We're not mobile gamers by any by any means. Um, at least it's not what this is this podcast is predicated on but the fact that that game is going to be on mobile for that price fuck yeah dude that's amazing i mean i dude i love the fact that they're bringing back a game from 2014 oh my god you know what yeah. i mean dude like i mean dude it's yeah. and with the way the phones yeah. are now dude yeah. you oh can my god easily easily be able to go all ahead day. and handle the graphical cap- capabilities of this all day and all this day. game is fun it is so much fun dude i enjoy pl- dude I- I enjoyed playing on Freaky Friday. Like I, I spent most of my time in closets and lockers, but I enjoyed it. It was a fun game. Yeah, yeah, it was a good game. Yeah. Um, other thing I have, you know, I mean, since we're we're coming up to um Thanksgiving and um, you know, I mean, savings and Black Friday and all that type of shit. Um, Stay into which, <laughs> right? Into which, whenever you listen to this, we do hope that you have. I mean, if you are in the states, we hope you have a pleasant and bountiful. Thanksgiving, you mean tons of food? Oh yeah, man, get your man boobs, get them, get them, get them, grow them out. But um, I have some Black Friday deals uh for both Xbox and PlayStation. 
So, um, oh, all the old run over the granny deals. Hmm. I mean, I don't know if they run over <laughs> granny for it, but so the Xbox, Xbox. Oh, what are you playing? I got my Xbox off the Walmarts. <laughs> It cost me a thousand dollars. I'm not even on anything right now. Like, what the fuck? But every time it turns it on, it shows me a PlayStation symbols. It shows me a block. I don't get it. <laughs> Xbox Black Friday deals will will include. I mean, it's not. I mean, there's there's more than just this, but this will include Assassin's Creed Valhalla will be for twenty three ninety nine. Back for Blood That's will be when for, I will buy that. I'm sorry. Back for Blood will be for uh, forty one ninety nine. Control the Ultimate Edition will be eleven ninety nine. Now the ultimate edition, that's the one that you need um for the Series X. Yes. Yep, yeah, yeah, for the update. And that's only 12 bucks. Jesus. Far Cry 6 is going to be 40 bucks. FIFA 2022 for the Series X is going to be 49. FIFA 2022 for Xbox One is going to be 36. Um Madden NFL 22 for the Series X is going to be 42. I love uh, how these places are like, please come out on black friday and fight with masses of people because we're going to give you 11 dollars off a video game yeah it's a cool no it's a thing cool <laughs> but it's, a, it's i'm a... risking my life you better at least give me half off <laughs> i agree um real quick in addition to everything that i'm talking about um if you are not a game pass ultimate member Microsoft is also offering three months of Xbox Game Pass with PC, the PC version for a dollar. Wow. What? Into which, I mean, that, like, dope. I got to tell Adrian about that, man, because, I mean, Adrian's been talking about jumping on Game Pass for PC for a while, so. That's dope, though. Yeah. Um. All right, so Madden 22 for the Xbox One is 30 bucks. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy already on sale. That's 39 Uh. NBA 2, uh, 2K22 for the Series X is 35. 2K22 for the for the one is 30. Resident Evil Village is 30, and Riders Republic is 40. Cool. Those are just some of the things that you know what I mean that are <clears throat> going yeah. to be on sale. Um, let's see here, PlayStation. So on the PlayStation Store, um, Gee, give, me, give me so all that. this is all, all all this shit is just straight up digital. Do this shit from so, home. So hell yeah, that's ain't nobody fucking. That is the only over. place I'm going to be on Black ain't Friday. Crushing my ass Damn right. Part. Black Friday, my black ass is staying home, so. Yeah, I, I too you am off. Both. <laughs> All right, well. I too you. am off. <laughs> Continue. All right, so we have Deathloop is going to be 30 bucks. That's actually, that's a damn good price for that game. Right. Yeah, I mean, dude, yo, it's, dude, it's still running full price at 60, so. Yeah. Uh, Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition is going to be 30. Doom Eternal is going to be 15. Far Cry 6 is going to be 40. Hades. 20 bucks awesome game yeah if you have the uh if you have game pass just get it there yep life is strange true colors is going to be 39 bucks um nfl 22 you have 30 dollars. marvel guardians of the galaxy 39 mlb the show 21 is 30 that game's actually a lot of fun ratchet and clank rift apart is going to be 50 resident evil village 30 returnal 50 and tales of arise is going to be 42 it's interesting the fucking PlayStation exclusive games are fifty dollars so. <laughs> still. <laughs> Fuck you, PlayStation. Well, yeah, because their regular price is it, fucking though. seventy. Yeah, I know, I get it. Yeah, I, I mean it. they're knocking twenty off. I mean, give me, give me another ten off, and you got yourself a deal. I'll buy both of them. Right. Um, some of the other deals you might be able to see um at the PlayStation Gear Store. Demon Souls is forty. You can get pick up a dual sense wireless controller and 2K21 jumpstart bundle for 55 bucks. Damn. Hmm. Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut is only 50 bucks. PlayStation Plus 12 month membership is only $40. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart is 50. Returnal is 50. Sackboy A Big Adventure is 30. That one's half off. And Spider Man Miles Morales The Ultimate Edition is 50. That's a dope deal. Yeah. So I think All that's right. normally $79. Yeah. Uh, that thing it was sitting at um seven. It's it's sitting at seventy currently. Okay. But uh, that's news. So the three musketeers are back, and we're going to let everybody know what we are playing. This is the most confused look I've ever seen on somebody's face. 
Uh, I can go first. I got yeah. to talk about. Um, well, I should. I don't know if it's still just one game, but uh, so I said at the end of the last, the last cast that I finished. I said that I finished Resident Evil. Yes, because I gave I gave my spoiler filled breakdown of it. But um, I started the the new game plus to run through some of those challenges because you know I love oh, a challenge. Yeah. I love a challenge killing a certain amount of enemies with certain guns and doing this and doing that. Like today, I knocked out like, or not today, but over the last couple of days, I knocked out like six in one because I completed a bunch while I did the speed run. So the speed run, you have to finish the game in less than three hours. I finished it in like two hours and 19 minutes or something like that. So I had plenty, plenty of time to spare. And I did, I, so I did that one while simultaneously doing the one where you finish the game using four or less health items, um, not crafting anything. Uh, what other one did I do? I did a couple at once, but uh, it, it's made easy because you you unlock these challenges and then it's this new game plus you can unlock, you know, bonus guns and shit to use. So I'm running around with a Magnum with infinite ammo, so it's no big deal. <laughs> um, it's rock but, shit. Uh, yeah. That's basically what's happening. But yeah, I've, I've been running through I've been running through that and that's actually a lot of fun. But I'm unlocking that stuff because that's the stuff you need to do because when you beat the game, it unlocks like some fucking hellfire uh, difficulty, which is probably like one of those you get fucking touched once you die things. And I'm obviously going to go for beating that. So I need all these souped up weapons to make sure that I can roll through that. So that's what Fuck I'm around to find out. But uh, it's been fun. It's been fun. They also brought back the mercenaries mode. I don't know if you remember that from Resident Evil Four. I believe it was the last time I played it. Um, nah. I I mean I might have played it, but I don't remember what it is. But uh, yeah, I went first, so uh, I'm done. That's that's usually how that works. Uh, I'll go second, so then I'm done. <laughs> um, so. I have been, uh, I've been playing a lot of Forza Horizon Five. I know my last time I was actually on the cast was like forever ago. God, um, I talked about having the automatic download ready to go for when it came out. The whole nine, um, that happened, and then I've been fucking throwing down on that. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's been an absolute, mm-hmm. um fantastic game um everything with uh like like having a having a a legit like half decent story to it the character can actually talk in the game every forza game i always remember playing and i could be wrong but i always seem to remember the game your character never talked or any of that other kind of shit um yeah it's just i don't know it's been a lot of fun i'll leave it at that I still got a little bit more exploring to do before I really sweet, get into sweet. detail with it, but I, I I really really enjoy it. Sweet. Uh, so I had just gone. Now I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and then now I can go, so I can be done. So um, I've also been playing um Horizon, loving it, having an absolute blast with it. Um, that like Anthony has said. I mean, I, I mean, we talked about this. Like I I think off mic. Like. The, the the whole beginning, you know what I mean? Oh my god! And All I don't the wanna, cars I, you drive. Yeah, don't spoil it because I'm I actually do plan <laughs> no, no, on no, downloading I'm not, and doing it. So yeah, I'm not even gonna bring up. The, I'm not gonna bring up the oh, like I because I, I we have a group message between the three of us, and I sent basically to these guys that they had to play the game because the opening sequence itself would draw them into the it's game. It's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking and it insane, did. dude! It yeah. absolutely, dude! It absolutely See? brought me in, and See? now I'm like. In the mornings, you know what I mean. I'm I'm jumping down. I'm 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 rocking a few races just to go ahead and kind of get things done. Yeah, dude. Um, I moved to moved a little bit farther in miles. Um, everybody knows everybody's identity now. You know what I mean. So um, cool, cool, like the, the tinker and all that. Yep. Yeah. The yeah, all that. So um, I'm I'm making my way. Actually, I was playing that before we started the Skype call. Mm-hmm. Um, give me because I had I I brought the PlayStation into the studio. You know what I mean to give me sweet, something sweet, sweet. Yeah. Nice. But um, other than that, uh, we rocked some chill, you know what I mean, last night. I and mean, we did the yes, Fun sir. Friday. And <laughs> went pretty well. 4-0, I think, right? Yeah, actually, yeah. At, after you got off, Wes, uh, Andy and I kept going. We played two more games. And we 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 actually won outright from when, I start, from when you guys started to mm-hmm. when Andy and I finished. We actually won outright all night. Nice. So, um, yeah, I think no. we like 20, 
we, and three or twenty two. Something like that. We went five and zero oh last night because you guys won one. We, you mm-hmm. we collectively all... between the three of us we won two. Yeah. And then Andy, you and I both won two last night. Yeah. So yeah, five. So, nice, nice, solid, nice. Solid. Yeah, dude, it was a solid, solid chill night. Ah, yeah, man, it was good, man. Yep. Yeah, I dude. still that dude that nice. one pass that I had for you, dude. Mm-hmm. When I dude when I was wrapping around the um. Yeah. <clears throat> The back of the um, the back of the I net died. for Anthony. Yeah, that one pass, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man! If you did, if you'd have scored that goal, I would have woken my kid up. I would have screamed so loud. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't score it then. <laughs> I'm I'm mad you didn't. I mean, I would have done just being mad at me, but no, okay. but nah, man. Uh, that's all that we have. <laughs> so, Andy, take us out. Yes, sir. Oh, sweet deal. It is that time to connect with CGC, and this is the best places you could do it. You can go to our website, which is consolegamingcrew.com, which is attached to our Gmail, consolegamingcrew at gmail.com. The best place, like we always say, to get in touch with us is our Twitter, because Wes does a bang-up job with that thing. We are at Console Crew. Uh, all of our episodes get released on YouTube for our YouTube family. We're Console Gaming Crew there, and as well as Instagram, Console Gaming Crew. Uh, fuck Facebook. I'm just going to leave that. Um, also, Boss Rush Network. Let me tell you about that thing. We are a part of Boss Rush Network on BossRushGames.com. It's a sick-ass place filled with tons of content creators, not just you know in our little niche market of gaming, but you know in all sorts of uh, different. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Different outlets. Different avenues. Um, yeah, avenues. That's better. That's a better that's way a to go about. Better it. word. Much yeah. Better so that's word. so that's BossRushGames.com. So check us and everyone else out there. It's a, it's a great community of people, and Twitch. Twitch is very, very important to us. We are CGC Podcast on Twitch. You can catch us on, well, all three of us, you can catch on Friday nights. We do a fun Friday. We try to get the three of us. If we can't get the three of us, you know, we try to get two of us. And if we can't get two of us, Wes, Wes does his damn thing. And he, he holds <laughs> he, he holds strong for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Playing uh, Miles try. Morales or whatever else. He also has his uh, co-op games on Monday nights that he plays with the other side of the fam. Which, what are you guys playing right now? You're playing, um, uh, well, we you still don't fall out, right? Are you doing uh, back for blood and we recently just started back for blood. Um I might be jumping into it takes two with Hav. I gotta go ahead and figure out what's going on. So or, yeah. Nice. yeah. So check those out on Monday nights. All right, thank you, brother. And then I also want everybody to please, 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 please rate us. Yeah, Throw us them good. five stars, man. Yeah, five or stars, one or stars. two or three or four. Just, just let us know you're listening. Yeah. I mean, yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, I mean, dude, just let us know. You know what I mean? Yeah, let us let know us what's know. good. All right, so we'll close it out like we always do. We just want y'all, we appreciate everybody listening, appreciate y'all being around. So please stay safe, wash your hands, mask up if you need to. And as always, game on, baby. Game on. Game on, y'all. Peace.